So for a time there, I was on top of the world. For a time, he was the biggest deuce on the face of the earth. Who am I kidding? He still is. And then it kind of came crashing down. Just like my man boobs. Zachary Lavoy at one time considered to be one of the most promising child stars ever to debut in the 80s. His mesmerizing performance in Ron Howard's 1989 masterpiece, Parenthood, cemented his place in the pantheon of so adorable you'd love to punch them in the face underage actors of all time. And yes, the nation wanted to sucker punch him a time or two. However, the television spinoff of his feature film debut, of which he was the only actor to reprise his original role, was not quite as successful. It was cancelled after only 13 episodes. This was the beginning of a downward spiral into the seething dark abyss of obscurity and beyond. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, I'm Trin Trinsetter, and welcome to another episode of Child Actors, Hollywood's Punching Bags. We find ourselves today in the small Illinois suburb of Des Plaines, which, under first observation, may appear to be a middle American shithole. But, when you look at it just a little bit closer, you find that it is, in fact, a genuine shithole. Genius. <laughs> but this shithole is the home now of one Zachary Lavoy. Far from the glitz, the glamour, and the lights, <laughs> and media whores of Hollywood. He might not resemble the adorable little naked cherub fans of his breakthrough performance in Parenthood might remember, but that's what a box of cream-filled pastries a day will get you. He's given up acting these days, although that wasn't originally his master plan. I'm a child of television. I mean, I grew up on it. Because of all those hours watching that mind-numbing crap on the tube, I decided when I was three that I wanted to become an actor. And you know, now that I think about it, it's all I ever wanted to be. Well, that and <laughs> Alyssa Milano's training bra. So basically, my parents used me. I mean, they saw how cute and precocious I was and figured they could make a quick buck. They lavished all their time and attention on me and forgot all about my little sister. He had all the attention. All of it. I was like the invisible girl growing up. Always in his shadow. Looks like you still are. I will end you, fag hag. What was her name again? S Sarah... S Sally... S Vicky. Uh, Ashley? Eh, whatever. So when the spin-off series went nowhere, it really signaled the beginning of the end. Well, of my career. And my waistline. Hey, see, where's that kid with my cheeseburger? When the gravy train ran out for Zatch, <laughs> You liked that, did you? He found work wherever he could. And when I say wherever, I mean nowhere. I know you're there, I can still smell your swamp ass, puto. Like that? Yeah, feel free to use that, it's pretty good. Yeah. What? 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 what?